What's going on YouTube? It's James with Shy Hammer Fantasy Battle Reports, and I got another game at the WCW Throwdown. It's round three, and I'm going against Jake motherfucking Murphy. Jake Murphy is uh, one of the guys going into Masters with his Dark Elf Army that you probably will see right here. Um, and uh, it's pretty intimidating because it's the first time I've ever f faced Jake Murphy. So um, I got him with my Orcs and Goblins, of course. And uh, let me show you what we brought on both sides of the table. This is an overview of my army with the stolen uh, cemetery set I stole from my ex-girlfriend. Anyways, <laughs> I got a unit of Wolf Riders over here. I got a second unit of Wolf Riders right over here. That is not Lord Chickenhead. That is a regular Wolf Rider today. Um, over here, I got my six trolls coming out of the cave. I have a Goblin Chariot and then that Black Orc on uh, BSB is not in this game. It was just there because I brought him for the tag team tournament the day before. Over here I got on the left, it is my Mangler Squig. On the right I have King Koopa. King Koopa is a goblin hero on a gigantic spider with the armor of destiny. Behind him is a Spear Chucker, which you can barely see. Um, over here I got my big unit of Savage Orc Biggins. It's 28 Savage Orc Biggins with uh, extra hand weapons, big stab, a full command, and they brought along some firepower. I got my Lord in the front with the he's a black orc boss with um sort of swift slaying, a five up board, crown of command, and the enchanted shield. Um on, uh, right next to him, that is Bebop. So it's Bebop and Rock City, but Bebop has a uh Mork's war banner which basically protects me against magic attacks, which to be honest nobody ever shot me with magic in this whole thing if they did it went through that banner anyways <laughs> and I got Dr. Zoidberg next to him Dr. Zoidberg has the fencer blades and the lucky shrunken head um, contemplating changing Dr. Zoidberg's name because my brother said he looks like Dr. Zoidberg which I kind of see that but I'm thinking about changing him to Krang just to keep the whole turtle theme going um, but anyways um, that whole unit has a 5 board basically and uh, anything touching the magic banner gets turned off if it's magical as well over here I got a uh, unit of 20 night goblins with bows I have in there the uh, goblin shaman which he doesn't really stay in that unit usually but anyways he's a level 2 night goblin shaman over here I have my two doom divers inside of some fluffy trees I have my Arachnorock spider. There's my spear trucker on the left. The Arachnorock spider is good old and trusty. I love it. Um, over here I got another goblin chariot and then basically that is that. As for my magic, as you can see here, I got, uh, it looks like Itchy Nuisance, um, Sneaky Stabbing, Fist of Gork, Hand of Gork, Foot of Gork, and here we go. Um, over here as you can see, there's Jake Murphy with his Dark Elf army and there's a wrestling ring right in the middle of the damn board the wrestling ring is basically we want to uh, it's part of the objectives the objectives we have to kind of get in the middle with our characters and um, I'm sorry with our wrestler models I don't have a picture right now with me but uh, it, I have the ultimate warrior as my wrestler model if you get in the center with your, your wrestler and hold still to the end you basically are the king of the ring kind of a deal so um, let's go over here um, over here we have, uh, he has a unit of Dark Riders. Now I have his list over here somewhere. Let me pull that out before I start butchering all the names of this stuff. Here it is. All right. Um, so yeah, he has his, uh, he has a repeater bolt thrower on the left. He has another repeater bolt thrower right next to that, of course. And then he has his Dark Riders, five Dark Riders. They're basically just fast cav. Um, over here, woo-wee, man, that's actually a really beautiful paint job. Wow. All right, <laughs> sorry, I just kind of got blown away by that. That is his witch elf horde with the cauldron of blood with a death hag on it. The death hag. Uh, there's also an assassin in that unit. Um, his he has his witch elves, and I believe that's it. Um, we're gonna go over here. This this is his sisters of slaughter. Oh my god, these things. Um, so yeah, the sisters of slaughter. Let me see what they have really quick. Uh, they do have the banner of eternal flame. He has. I guess just normal stuff on it um, they get a bunch of cool stuff though based on the fact that if I am stronger than them or I have higher toughness than them they just get like fucking ridiculously stronger which is just retarded um, over here he has another unit of uh, dark riders and he has another bolt thrower and then this big mother flower over here 
That is his Dreadlord on a black dragon. Um, basically, he has the Talisman of Prez, a Charm Shield, and that is that. Um, right next to him, you can see he has some Doomfire Warlocks. Um, and then over on the other corner, that big guy right there, that is his Carbidus. So basically, he's going to go ahead and uh, it's a proxy for, I think that's a Forge World model for something else. Uh, I forgot which exactly it is. But that thing looks badass. It's his Carbidus. It fits his whole theme. I just love it. It's great. Um, so basically on Vanguards, as you can see, my Wolf Riders are running up. I did win the Vanguards first. He goes ahead and moves up his, his Dark Riders on this side, and then he moves up his Doomfire Warlocks. We're going to go into turn one. Who won the turn one? It looks like I won the turn one. So first off, looking at his army, he has three Bolt Throwers. Okay? So I'm avoiding to do... Uh, uh, he kind of has to come to me, basically. That's what it is. I could foot a Gork him. I, could, I, I don't want to fight his witches right away. That's my whole thing about when I see these witch elf hordes because I always hear people tell me stories, like especially the guys that, that are in my group. As soon as I'm like, hey, how'd your game go? They're like, oh, man, I fought this guy with a witch elf horde with the cauldron of blood, and they wiped out my storm vermin elves, whatever, dwarves, and they're just fucking brutal. Don't fight them. So then I'm like, oh, shit, I don't want to fight them. You know? But sure enough, like majority of his points, he has... An assassin that's 130 points, his death hag, which is 300 points, which is also his BSB, which is an extra 100 points, his witch elves that are 350 points, that is a lot of fucking points. That's over 900 points or something like that in that unit out of a 2,500 point game. And I'm like, holy crap, I do not want to face this thing, but I'm going to have to. So uh, first off, I'm rambling. My savages fail animosity. My black orc keeps them in line, kills one dude, and we're all good to go. Um, I just move up. More or less, uh, or I don't move up. I just kind of stay still. I want him to come to me. Magic Fizz got 10 power dice. I'm going to go ahead and I throw up a, a couple dice onto Itchy Nuisance. I lower his Dark Rider speed by 2. Um, more or less, I did this so he could take his time getting to my Doom Divers. Um, and then I throw up a shit ton of dice on the Foot of Gork. I get double sixes. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Foot of Gork right onto the Sisters, or the Witches, and it drifts off this way. Which, what the hell, man? Ah, oh, man, I go for a 4, 5, or 6 to do it again, I get a 3. So what do I get on my miscast? I don't think I took much on my miscast, actually. I don't think anything, really. I don't see any damage. Uh, shooting phase, I'm going to go ahead and shoot my Doom Diver at the Dark Riders because I'm trying to, again, self-preserve myself. Um, the Doom Divers, because they're kind of open right now. And who is calling me on Facebook? That is so random. Sorry if you hear this. All right, sorry. Um, so I go ahead and try to shoot at the Doom di or the Dark Riders, and I fail, um, or I think I only killed one, which sucks. I don't know why I always roll a one with my Dark Rider, or my Doom Divers. God damn it, I'm like confusing my words. The other Doom Diver blows himself up on turn one. Are you fucking kidding me? But of course, I keep them about 6.25 inches away so they don't freaking cause panics. I'm going to go ahead and shoot these guys right at his other Dark Riders over here. They kill off one of the Dark Riders, and then my Goblin Chariot's going to go ahead and shoot at the sisters of slaughter and they kill off one sister of slaughter and that is how it looks on turn one as you can see i kind of have everybody on the left side this is the same exact table i fought joe on i didn't move tables which is funny because there's like 20 or 30 tables here but i stuck on the same table so i'm trying to use the building to my advantage i have my rack and rock blocking my left side as you can see his carbonus if it comes this way i have i have a couple things going for me i have my wolf riders in front of my goblins the Arachnorok is actually inside a stupid forest, and that is screwing me up because he is way out of the general's bubble. He has to roll on his leadership six, and he keeps failing, so he's just kind of stupid at the moment. Uh, my trolls are being chaffed up by my goblins. I'm just waiting for that witch elf horde to come, start coming forward. I'm not too worried about much else on the right side, um, and my mangler is going straight for his witch elf horde as well. Um, his turn one, he's going to go ahead and charge at Koopa with his Dark Riders. I'm like, whatever. Koopa could chomp up some freaking fast cav. Koopa freaking has a two-up armor and like all this other crap. He's fine. He's going to fuck him up. Right? So he gets in. Um, over here, he's going to go ahead and move towards uh, my Doom Divers, like I said, but he can't get close enough. Um, and then his other guys come out right here, and he's going to force out my Fanatics. My Fanatics come out. One goes through his unit, pops out, and kills his unit of sis or uh, dark riders, but at the cost of my wolf riders. So, yeah. But whatever. That's kind of what I, the plan was. Um, and as for this over here, as you can see, nothing else is really happening. He's moving up his dragon towards the center to back up his witches. And yeah. Um, 
And as you can see, he did move up his Witch Elf Horde towards the center, which, I mean, kind of sucks because my Mangler can't really go around that little thing. I have to kind of, like, whatever. Magic Face, he got five Power Dice. He's going to go ahead and throw up. Um, I don't think he threw up anything, actually. I think I, I, whatever he did, I stopped it. So he's going to go ahead into Shooting Face, Shooting Face. Oh, his only wizard is his Doomfire Warlocks. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So, um... Uh, well, he does have a level 1 Sorceress. I don't know what she had. Eh, level 2, actually. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. Lore of Metal. Oh, that's why. He had Lore of Metal. And all his spells are like... He's like, well, those guys are naked. Those guys are naked. Those guys are naked. And he could kill some Wolf Riders. Which, I think that's what he did right here. <laughs> so he kills off three of my Wolf Riders with one of his metal spells. And uh, he's going to go ahead and do his, his Bolt Throwers. Bolt Throwers just blast the crap out of uh, my Wolf Riders. Plus, that that is a Wildwood, I believe. No, no, no. I caused a, he caused a panic and I fleed. And I, when I fleed, one Wolf Rider died to the woods. The other Wolf Rider gets away and I have one Wolf Rider remaining. He's going to go ahead and shoot uh, his Bolt Throwers into my Mangler. One does two wounds. And then he shoots his other bolt thrower into my Doom Diver and does two wounds to the Doom Diver. The other bolt thrower shoots at my chariot, does one wound onto my chariot. Holy crap, he has three bolt throwers that just fucked me up. They did two, two, and one. Um, and then we're going to go to close combat. Now, close combat, the only combat we have is Koopa versus the Dark Riders. And I'm thinking, man, Koopa's going to fuck up these Dark Riders and he's going to have a free reign on the right side to get both those bolt throwers, right? So I go ahead and I do my... Uh, actually, I think the fears counteract each other, right? So I don't have to fear him. He goes ahead and he rolls. Now, he's, he's Elf, so he's going to hit me, right? So he has like three hits that go through. Okay, he rolls three wounds. I'm like... Pfft. Three wounds, no problem. Koopa's going to live this, no problem. All he needs is like one wound to save. And he has a three-up armor on, in close combat. I'm like, pff, I roll, one, one, two. I'm like, shit, I have a four-up board. I roll it, one, one, two. God damn it, Koopa. You died to some chumps. Right in front of Road Dog Jesse James. Come on, Koopa. What's wrong with you, man? I was, I was so upset at this. Like, this should not have happened. This literally should not have happened. Makes no sense whatsoever. Didn't even get my attacks back. The spider would have killed him. Alone, roughly. That's some bullshit. So let's start off Orcs and Goblins turn 2. Orcs and Goblins turn 2. My, my Arachnorok fails his stupidity and stumbles forward towards the Fanatics. Come on, just don't do it. Just don't do it. The Fanatics run into each other, but one runs through my... my uh, Arachnorok and does two wounds to my Arachnorok. That sucks. Um, over here, I declared a charge with my chariot into the sisters because I'm just trying to kill some sisters with slaughter. I move my other chariot in front of his, um, in front of his witches, and I move my mangler right behind that chariot. So if he charges, he has to charge, overrun, and hopefully run into my mangler. <laughs> Uh, I wish that would work out that way, but it, you know it won't. Anyways, Magic Phase got six power dice. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a couple dice onto the Foot of Gork again. I'm just trying to kill some damn sisters. I told him, too. I was like, literally, this move right here, I'm like, look, I could do a Hand of Gork move these guys here. I could do a, um, I could do Itchy Nuisance over here to ruin your, your movement. I could do this. I could do that. But let's be honest with you. I got six dice, and you're going to dispel half the shit I do. So six dice foot of gore. Fuck it. And he laughed at me as well. But I got double sixes. Going to go ahead and stomp at the sisters. I kill, or witches. I kill five witches. Plus, I actually think I wounded the cauldron. Um, but it drifted uh, basically north a little bit, and I only got the back row. Roll four, four, five, or six. Do it again. I got a six. All right, great. I'm going to do it again. Direct hit. And what do I kill? I kill four sisters now he has a five up ward normally and he has magic resistance plus one so he's getting a four up ward on him so that's why not that many are dying but i did wound the cauldron i believe um roll four four five or six do it again i get a three okay that's cool i still kill like 10 of them right so uh my miscast causes me to lose two of my guys and i believe i actually took a wound on my shaman um and uh, as for my shooting i'm shooting at the was I shooting at the dragon or was I shooting at the sisters or the witches? Don't recall, to be honest. But it didn't matter anyways. Doom Diver just decided to like, ah, fuck it. We're going over here in the middle of nowhere. 
So then um, my goblins of bows here start shooting at the witches, kill off one witch. His sisters destroyed my fucking uh, chariot. My chariot did like, I think, a pathetic like three impact hits, but didn't even kill one. That's like pathetic. And he killed my chariot here. It's going to start off Jake Murphy's turn too. Oh my god. So of course he's going to do this easy charge here. He's going to charge his, uh, his Dark Riders into my uh, Doom Diver. Okay. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I was taking like one last shot with him anyways. He's charging a long charge with his sisters into my trolls. And that's going to... that I think he might fail that to be honest. And he's charging a huge charge because he has the Banner of Swiftness in that unit with his Witch Elf Horde into my Savages. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Um, he charges his dragon over here into my goblin's flank and he gets in there. They don't fail their terror because they're close enough to the boss. Um, and, uh, they're also stubborn with their toe in there, that fucking, in that forest. Um, and, oh shit, his witch has got in. Oh shit, man. I did not want that to happen. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, the Dark Riders got in and apparently his sisters failed. His Carbidus over there is coming closer and closer to my Arachnorok, but my Arachnorok still staying still, and his sisters failed, as you can see. Magic Face, he got seven Power Dice, and he's going to go ahead and throw up, uh, oh man, he tried to throw up something, and I was like, nope, 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 just Spell Scroll. Um, he tried to do a buff, I think it was, on his unit, and I was just like, no, screw that shit. Um, so then he's going to go ahead and do his Bolt Thrower, and his Bolt Thrower shoots my Mangler, blows up my Mangler, of course. He's going to go ahead and um, shoot his guys over here into that single wolf rider kill the wolf rider and then he's gonna go ahead and shoot i believe the other bolt thrower into this chariot kills the chariot um over here kills my doom diver damn i'm losing all my points man you know what it is and this is something that i really had a problem with this whole tournament is wolf riders are like 65 points or 50 points however, however you upgrade them they're like 50 to 60 points chariots are 50 points Mangler 65 points, but the problem is they die so easy every single one of them. So by the time we get into big combat, I'm already down in the hole because I lost all my little chaff shit, and I just take too much chaff. I think I need to take more solid units and have just a little sprinkle of chaff, just a little sprinkle, but whatever. Oh man, so over here, I have my general always striking first. Now he has no fucking magic items. God damn it. God damn Damn it, are you serious? Not a single magic item to dispel with this freaking the, the Morks War Banner. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit attack with my general. My general kills off. Or, I'm sorry, he's attacking. He goes ahead and he throws... He kills my shaman. Okay? He kills six of my savages. Or I think that was just with the death hag, to be honest. <laughs> it might be with just the death hag. Um, no, it's impact hits, death hag. Then he rolls with all his witches, 11 wounds. I roll all my dice because I still have that 5-0 board because the shaman's not dead dead yet. I roll all my wounds, or, or yeah, my wards. I ward saved 9 out of 11. You see his jaw drop and I'm like, dude, I would believe I have loaded dice if I didn't get dice from everybody I play against. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> I rolled nine wards. A five up ward. I rolled nine of them. Holy shit. My savages are attacking back. And sure enough, my BSB is still alive. So he's going to go ahead and attack. Or everybody's attacking. I do two wounds onto the, the hag. I do a wound onto the cauldron. And I go ahead and I start killing off sis or witches. I kill off a couple witches here. Kill off a couple witches there. And sure enough, after all is said and done, we add up the totals. He's like, he charged, he has a banner, he has a BSB, he has one rank. I have three ranks or two ranks. I have a BSB, I have a banner. You did this many wounds, I did that many wounds. It's a tie. He's like, you have a musician? I'm like, yep. He's like, I do too. It's a fucking tie. My savages went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a horde of witches and lived. And it's a freaking tie. But guess what? It's my turn next. And you, you see that side charge? Because I do. Oh, man. Over here. <laughs> his his Dreadlord over here has a beautiful side flank onto all my goblins. I'm like, shit. I have the Goblin Shaman in there. 
no matter what, he's killing the whole unit. And no matter what, he's probably going to kill my Goblin Shaman first. Because he's the one touching base to base. So I'm like, challenge! And he's like, who with who? I'm like, my Goblin Shaman. And he's like, seriously? I'm like, yeah, seriously. So sure enough, he destroys my Goblin Shaman. It's a joke. But my guys are steadfast now. I have all 20 of them still. I have combat reform facing off at the dragon. And it'll probably hold him still for a turn or two. It's going to start off Orcs and Goblins turn three. And of course... Of course. <laughs> well, my, my uh, fanatic almost ran back into my uh, my Arachnrock, but he rolled double ones and died. Thank God. Oh, my Arachnrock backs up just a little bit because I, I don't know why. I was think I finally passed my, my panic or my stupidity, but I was looking at that Carbidus and I was just like, do I... W oh, he I didn't have a charge on the Carbidus. I had just like a... Uh, he was looking at my side. So I turned him this way, backed him up a bit because I figured I'm probably going to take a side flank from the general soon. Um... And, uh, yeah, that's it, I think. I did charge in my trolls into his side, like I said I was going to do. Look at that. It's a beautiful side flank charge. Wow. Um, all right. So we're going to just go into close combat because he killed my shaman and my doom divers are dead and everybody's in combat. So, sure enough, he's going to go ahead and kill off, woo, probably 10, 12, 13 of my night goblins. I don't remember how many, but I'm still steadfast and I'm going to stick there. I failed to wound him at all. Over here, his two witches on the side kill off or, or do one wound I think yeah he only does one wound onto my trolls uh, he does kill off my BSB which is points for him and uh, he that's it I think I don't think he killed off many guys my savages go and they attack and they kill they do another wound onto the, the cauldron the trolls go and they just kill off I think my savages whiff bad and I think his witches did a bad job wounding but my set or my trolls go and my trolls were the ones that made a big difference they killed off like 10 of these witches 10 holy shit and uh so i'm winning combat i have a side flank charge i killed off like 10 of his guys he barely did a couple wounds to my guys or i'm sorry here you go this is a better picture he did one two three four five six seven wounds onto my savages but i did like it looks like two four six eight nine wounds to him i'm winning combat He's going to have to panic and run. He rolls for his... his uh, he's not steadfast by any means because I have a, a rank of trolls on his ass. Um, so he's going to he's gonna do his panic check. He fails. And he, he rolls for the BSB reroll. He fails again. And my trolls and my savages are going to run his ass down. Holy shit. My savage is stuck there for two rounds against the infamous Witch Elf Horde. And... The trolls end up catching him and eating him, but oh my god, at the cost of what? Look at this. He has, it looks like a either a side flank or a rear flank charge with his sisters into my trolls. Now granted, everything left on the board isn't that, like, scary to me. Um, the dragon is. Carbidus, I don't know what a Carbidus does. I've never fought one before, but we'll see really quick. Um, the sisters do scare me, but I don't know, like, they, they, they don't look that threatening. There's not that many of them, so sure enough, it's going to start off his turn. Dark Elves turn three. He's going to go ahead and charge into that side flank right there. That sucks. He's going to charge his Carbidus into the Ragnarok, and I'm like, bring it! Let's do it! Um, and he's going to charge his Dark Riders, I guess, into the Carbidus, or into the Ragnarok. Um, he does get into the side flank here. His Dark Riders fail their charge, and Carbidus gets in alone, and this fight is going to be epic. Um, over here, he uh, moves his Dark Riders up over here. Magic Face, he only got two Power Dice. He's going to go ahead and throw up Soul Blight onto my, uh, onto my trolls. And uh, he's going to go ahead and do his shooting with the Dark Riders here. The Dark Riders, um, actually, I think he didn't charge them. I think he reneged on that. He just figured he'd move over here and start shooting the Spirit Chakra. So he got one wound onto the Spirit Chakra. All right. So the Arachnarok goes, and he gets his Poison Jaw off. And he does, that's the only one that goes off. He does the Poison Jaw, and he gets Four wounds onto his Carbidus. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. The Carbidus has... It looks like five wounds. So one more wound would have killed him. But he's going to go ahead and attack back. And he does three wounds onto the Ragnarok. Oh, shit. It's going to be close. It's going to be really close here. Um, they're both going at initiative four. So they're ba both gonna, they both have the ability to kill each other. And the Carbidus has a better weapon skill than the Ragnarok. He has a better strength than the Iraq Rock, but he doesn't have better toughness, and his scaly skin doesn't mean shit to me right now. Um, he does have poison. I have poison. This is just going to be brutal. We ha he has to do three wounds to me. I have to do one wound to him. 
we'll see what happens in the next round. But we both stick there. Um, we're stubborn on our leaderships. Um, over here, whoo! Man, did the Sisters of Slaughter fuck up these trolls. Not only did the Sisters of Slaughter hit them and wound them for a shit ton of attacks, but he has the Flaming Banner in that unit. And the Flaming Banner just burned a hole through fucking four trolls. Four trolls he killed. Oh my god. He's getting all these bonuses because I'm stronger than him and I have better toughness. He's getting all these extra bonuses because of that. And they're hitting on like twos and wounding on twos or some shit crazy. It, it's nuts. And I'm going to have to run and on double ones. And of course the trolls are going to fail. And uh, they only killed off two back. I think that was just stops to be honest. <laughs> oh man. So they're going to go ahead and run. And he runs them down and runs right into an overrun into my side flank of my savages. So, um, over here, his general is going to go ahead and start attacking, and he kills off that whole unit of Night Goblins. I was hoping he killed them down to a man. We ended up doing one wound onto his general. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Might have been the dragon I killed. I did one wound too, but whatever. And, uh, but he cannot overrun charge because he, uh, he it wiped them down to a man, and it's going to go ahead and start off, I believe, my turn. It is my turn. Orcs and Goblins, turn 5, I think it was. I forgot what turn it is. Might be 4. Who knows. Gonna go ahead and shoot the Spear Chucker right at his dragon, and it does 3 wounds onto his dragon. Thank God, but it's still alive. Oh, man, I was trying to knock that guy off that freaking giant giant monster. Carbidus goes, does 2 wounds, only 2, onto my Arachnrock. My Arachnrock goes and did like fucking five or six wounds a lot of poisons and it just didn't even matter that carbonus was dead and the arachnorok is the mighty victor in this fight um over here his sister start going woo or my general goes because he saw he strike it first he kills off one sister he goes and he he uh kills off two of my savages my savages past their panic check or whatever past their leadership on the stubborn of my general and I reform facing this way and it's not that bad of a fight but I am leaving the side flank open for the next turn oh my god you can see this right now this is his turn dark hell's turn he's charging two side flanks with his dark riders oh I'm sorry he's charging the one dark rider into the chariot he's charging his general and his other dark riders into my savages my savages have to hold man Oh man, it's getting ugly. He goes in over here, and this is how it looks. And he moves his uh, Doomfire Warlocks over here towards my weakened Arachnorok. <sighs> Magic phase, he gets eight power dice. He's going to go ahead and throw up Soul Blight again. Irresistibly, he goes off. Kills off one Doomfire Warlock on, on the miscast, and that's that. Over here, he's going to go ahead and shoot his, both his bolt throwers at the Arachnorok, and he fails to wound it. Thank God the Arachnorok lives. And uh, he tried to do the multi-shot, I think, which he needed sixes to wound, and he just did not roll a six, which is great. Um, over here, his Dark Riders killed off the Spear Chucker, and that sucks. He's going to go ahead and challenge with his Dreadlord. I accept with my, <laughs> with my champ. Thinking back about this, looking at it right now, he had two wounds left on that dragon, and I would be always striking first. I should have tried to kill the dragon with my general. I should have. Because I could have probably got... Uh, Tough six. Tough six, scaly skin three. Um, let's see. I would have knocked him down to a scaly skin five. Uh, I have do, don't have a better weapon skill. I do have a better initiative. I would have been able to re-roll re the... No, I wouldn't have because it's... Maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Would I be able to re-roll an always strikes first if I'm going for the dragon, even though his general has the always strikes first as well? I don't know. But I was worried, more worried about the thunder stomps. Anyways, he's going to chump up my, my champion right there. He does only two wounds to him with his general itself. The dragon doesn't even get a chance to thunder stomp or anything. But sure enough, holy shit, his sisters went at it and killed off a huge chunk. And I mean a huge chunk of my savages. I'm still stubborn on my general's leadership bubble. And that is crazy. I failed to kill many sisters at all. Um, I roll for my leadership. Even though it's a stubborn 9, and I rolled 11. Ah, shit. <sighs> My trolls did rally, by the way, but it didn't matter. My general's going to run his sister's chase, and they overrun right into my trolls. And this is how it looks. 
Oh, God, it's going to be, I believe, my turn, Orcs and Goblins turn five. At this point, it was like ten minutes left in the game, and I was like, I don't know, we could just call it here. And he's like, no, no, we could just do this round really fast. And I was like, fuck it, let's do the round really fast, let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and charge my Rock into his Dark Riders here. And uh, let's just go straight into that combat, because I have no magic, I have no shooting. Let's just go straight into that combat. Hopefully, my Rock just wipes the floor with them, right? He goes with his always strikes first, guys. He does a bunch of hits. He does one single wound. I roll for my armor check, and my Arachnorok died. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and then he's going to go ahead and kill my trolls here with his sisters. And that is it. These sisters are fucking brutal. Oh, my God. So, it's a Jake Murphy win. Um, at the end, let me see. I have the points here. At the end, I mean, he wiped out my whole army. Like, everybody. Every single person. So, he's getting 2,700 points. 2,725. Because he took the banner and the general. I took about, I think, 1,500 of his points. Um, which is just brutal. I mean, like, there's a couple things that went wrong. Um, and, uh, like, Koopa shouldn't have died to those, those Dark Riders, and the Ragnarok shouldn't have died to those Dark Riders. Um, not only that, but, I don't know. There is, he didn't pull up his, uh, Assassin, which was a fail on his part, because that would actually change the way the combat went on that first attack against the Savages. I would have lost, at least lost my Frenzy. But uh, we would have probably stuck there anyways, regardless. But sure enough, um, yeah. Um, I'm actually proud that my Savages st stuck twice against Witches and killed them. Um, and, uh, you know, it's like, like I said, always talking to people about, um, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, the Witch Elf Horde just fucked me up. I mean, I am as slow as hell Savage Orc Army. I mean, I have Initiative 2. He gets all these rerolls. He gets all his wounds first. And then top it off, he gets to reroll the ones on the wounds and all that stuff. And I still stuck there. And I still was a champ. Uh, my savages still champed it up, which I'm really proud of them for. Those nine wards were clutch. But um, overall, um, I am... I mean, it was a it was a loss. I'm not gonna deny a loss. I did give him extra points. I gave him points with the Ragnarok. I didn't have to charge that Ragnarok in. Uh, my Doom Diver blew itself up again, which is just it just happens every time almost, you know. And to top it off, I I I, I don't know. Like, I'm proud of the Ragnarok. It took you know a one on one fight against the Carbidus, which is just awesome. Um, even though the Carbidus is a lot cheaper than the Ragnarok, <laughs> a lot cheaper. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm proud of uh, I'm proud of the trolls. They did a good job. It was just that overrun that I had. I had to do it to kill his witches, but at the same time, and plus the savages can't restrain. But at the same time, I gave him an easy side flank with those sisters, and those sisters just messed me up. MVP. I'm giving it to my savage orc big and horde because they just they they held it down against those witches, and. I'm really glad I got to play this opponent. I kept on looking at his army over and over again every time I would see him, and I just wanted to play him one day, and I finally got it done. Jake Murphy is a great opponent. He's a great guy. He's such a, a good player and uh, a good sport while he's playing. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, um, this is the third game, and I'm really happy that even though my Arachnorok died at the end, this is the third game he died at the end, not like getting shot by cannons in the first round. So I'm really good, happy about that. Um, and uh, besides that, um, I think that's about it. So guys, if you haven't hit like and subscribe, do so already. If if you guys can, just share my videos, man. I mean, if you share my videos, it allows me to get out there a little bit more and get a little more recognition. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I got two more videos at the WCW throwdown on day three of WCW throwdown um, I'm going to play up Nick Fenske's High Elf Army next um, which is going to be a fun game and then I also played another opponent with his Dwarf Army and then not only that uh, I've been looking into Ninth Age holy shit did orcs get boosted or what I've been really looking into Ninth Age the last couple days because I, I, I know a couple of my friends want to play it and uh, 
But yeah, I mean, it looks like it got orcs got some crazy boost, and I'm looking to put some videos out there so you guys can tell me what the hell I'm doing wrong. If, by the way, if you see anything I did wrong on this video, you guys can leave a comment or, or any feedback anywhere, either on Facebook or on YouTube or what, and just tell me, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Why did you do this? And it helps me learn. It really does help me learn. But, um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be putting up more very soon. And like, share, subscribe, donate if you want to or if you can. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Peace.